Welcome back everyone, Sabo here and I'm so happy to see you again. Well, I'm not actually seeing you and you're only listening to me, but you get the idea. Never mind, so in this video we're going to learn how to add music to our game by scripting our own sound handler. Let's jump into it. For this tutorial I'm going to use a brand new project and from the asset store I'm going to download the Flappy Bird example provided by Unity Technologies for free. Thank you very much Unity for this awesome asset pack. To do so we click on download, wait a couple of minutes and after it's done we just click import to have everything in our project. And this is how it looks like after importing all of the assets into Unity. For now it's just a boring Flappy Birds imitation with no sound at all. To change this and spice the things a little bit up let's create a new c -sharp script and name it Sound Handler. We assign the script to our main character, here the bird, and search the internet for some nice sounds. A great website that you have to check out if you're creating games is Free Sound. You can find anything, and I mean anything, and just download it. The only thing you need to have in mind is the license. So for this video I can only show you music and sound that are licensed under the Creative Commons Zero license, or else Creative Commons. Another great website is opengameart.org. One of my favorite creators on this site is called Snabbish, as you can see here. And I have already used a lot of his tracks for my game Spartup. Ok, let's go back to Unity and as you can see I have already imported the sounds that I am going to use. The next step to do is to actually assign the right amount of audio sources to our main character. For this example we only need two sound effects. One for whenever we are clicking and our bird is flapping around and one for whenever we are crashing and actually dying. Make also sure to deselect the play on awake and loop functions. When you have successfully assigned all of your sound effects, open up the script that we created earlier and create an audio source array named my sounds. Now and inside of the start function we are going to assign all of the audio sources to our array using the get components function. After that we also have to create separate audio sources for all of the effects we are going to play. These audio sources need to be correctly assigned to one sound of our array. Here the flap sound goes to my sound 0 and the die sound to the my sound 1. Ok so far we have correctly assigned all of the sound effects to the right audio source variables of our script. Now we just need to call them using public functions for each sound. Remember that for playing the sound you only need the name dot play and your sound will be played immediately. That's all we need for the sound handler script. But in addition to that our bird character has another script assigned to it named bird. Where the actual code for the behavior and controls of the game are. From here we need access to our sound handler and for that a new private sound handler variable named sh obviously for sound handler. In the start function we are going to use get component in order to get the sound handler that's on the same game object. The next step is to find where exactly in our code we want to play each sound. Here the flap sound will be played every time we click on the left mouse button. And the die sound whenever a bird collides with any game object and you lose. And as I was editing this video I noticed a little oopsie. At line 21 I used sh.getComponent whereas the right thing to do was sh equals getComponent. And with that done let's go back in Unity and check the results. Well it looks like that today is really not my day. I messed up the sound effects and whenever we are clicking to flap we actually hear the dying effect and whenever we crash we hear our bird still flapping. <laughs> That's an irony. Fortunately and with my smart developer skills we can fix this in no time. We need to open up the sound handler script and make the changes inside of the start function. We switch the array cell from where we get our sound and it's done. Now we are talking, the sound effects are right and played exactly as we want them. The final step is to add a nice and looping background music for the game. And this is the simplest thing to do. Just create an empty game object, name it background music and add an audio source component. In this component make sure to check play on awake and loop and also assign the right music you want to play. I also adjusted the volume of each sound effect and played the game. 
Here are the results. I hope you can obviously see that I am an old veteran Flappy Birds expert. I bet my score of 10 is probably the world record of this game. Let me know in the comments below if you also played Flappy Birds and don't feel ashamed to tell me about your score. Now since you got so far in the video, I can only invite you to Savu's Game Dev Club Discord server, where we not only give feedback and help each other out, but we also talk about memes and other weird stuff. The link is in the description and I would be really happy to see you there. And with that said, make sure to subscribe since it really helps the channel and me a lot. See you next time, ciao!